Okay, in question number 12, we basically have 73 patients responding positively out of 100, and we have a null hypothesis and an alternative. Okay, so what does P represent? P is just the population proportion of all diabetic patients receiving new treatment that respond, right? Because we're interested in people that are responders, okay? Um, now, they want us to compute a test statistic to see what the p-value is on these experiment results, okay? The p-value, remember, respect to this alternative and null hypothesis, okay? So we know that the null, um, the null is going to be that p equals 0 0.7, and the test, our test statistics is that p equals 0.7 p hat equals 0 0.73. So we go to our formula card, right, and we go up to clear this, uh, our population proportion section, okay? So what we're going to do is compute a large sample z-test, okay? Note that you used a null for the standard deviation because we're assuming that the null is true, okay? And, uh, and clearly p, p and p and n times 1 minus p are both more than or equal to 10 in this case. So it's just going to be uh, 0 0.73 minus 0 0.7 over square root of 0 0.7, 1 minus 0 0.7 over 100. Okay? Gives a z value of 0 0.6546. Okay, so that's our test statistic value. And our p-value is, how do we, the way we find that out is go to the table, and we want 0 0.6546. So here's 0 0 0.6 and 0 0.5 around there, okay. Um, And we get probably around, actually around this value, 7.422. So the p value is, um, but that's for, uh, but we need to take 1 minus that to get 0 0.2578. Since we looked up, really we looked up this p value and we want this p-value. Right, because the alternative is that p is more than 0 0.7. Um, 